So we got the wheat grass going here. It is 10 days out from the Philadelphia Marathon. What do you think of that? You know, so what do we got in the whole food bag? I'll tell you about eating healthy. You know, we got some yams over here. Man, we got, I'll put them out of here. Pumpernickel rye bread, organic. So this is good stuff. It doesn't hurt my stomach like most other things does in this world. No, it's just eat really simple. We got the lentils. This bag was seven bucks. These are good black lentils, lentils, whatever you guys want, you know. Or sugar. So, and over here we got the Vega Gels, so that's what I'm going to eat during my uh, marathon. Put a little olives over here, got some olives and you put them on the bread with some olive oil and rosemary, where's my rosemary? This, this I bring home from, uh, bring home from Italy and the olive oil, so yeah, we're going to make some lentils and rice and bread and food. It's got cliff bars are good, so generally I eat a simple diet. And after every run, guys, I'm getting the wheat grass. The wheat grass. If you're not eating your wheat grass, I don't know what you're doing. It's like we're a bunch of cows over here. We're eating grass. That's that's why we're doing too. But wheat grass alkalize those acids that are created by exercise, like lactic acid. It is removed and turned into energy. This is a super high mineral rich food. If you want to build strong bones, it's in the wheat grass. It's also gonna get me started, but boom. It is in the kale too, that's right. And with that wheat grass, we gotta put the ginger over here. Ginger. Frickin' ginger. Gotta wash your ginger. And you know, since the wheatgrass is very potent, you only need a little piece of ginger. You cut that up right there. You load them up. Load them up. My opinion is on when uh, people are running a marathon, uh, they're eating too much crap before and during the race. I think what's really important is definitely get... Chop! The fruits in. The I would say wheatgrass with raw sugar. Like, it has that power while I'm running. I know it gives me that, you know, extreme amount of energy, just that feel good feeling. And generally, all healthy foods have that. My opinion on the marathon is they're serving people too much crap. Like, some of these gels, some of these energy drinks, I think it's really in the energy drinks that are just loaded with fake vitamins, fake nutrients, sugar, artificial, blah, blah, blah. Uh, dextrose, whatever. It's like a starchy sugar that's supposed to help last longer while you're running to burn slow. But you know that's why there's fiber and fruit. But it's these things like this that really hurt my stomach. And about two months ago, or not actually about a month ago in October, when I ran a half marathon, I took one of these uh, energy gels that were different from what I practiced, and it just like hurt my stomach, and I just felt like absolute crap. But you know, I, I turned to. Uh, this and it's a lot better. My opinion is there's a lot of ingredients. It's um, you know, it's mostly dates, but I mean, I feel like they add too much ingredients. It should be really simple. What I drink and eat during my marathon or my training was just basic fruit juice, like berry juice, pomegranate juice, and that's the only ingredient. And even like wheatgrass juice with sugar. Wheatgrass juice is also very sweet but it has those antioxidants so when you're running at a high intensity and you put this stuff in your body your body is going to react in a positive way and be able to perform better but for recovery after workouts i'm drinking the green juices also for the proteins and amino acids now what's in fruits and vegetables is what people don't realize is that fruits have protein in the form of amino acids so let's say a banana has reads one gram of protein, but that's more like a complete chain of protein. The rest is amino acids, and it has a lot of amino acids. So when somebody studies um, a fruit or something, or they want to break break it down and 
see how much protein is in a certain food. When they cook, they have to cook it. So when they cook something like meat, the proteins are still there because the bonds are very, very strong. But when you cook something like wheatgrass or an apple or fruit, you break those, you break those, um, they're actually, sorry, you don't break those bonds, but like they're in the form of amino acids. So those separate amino amino acids get destroyed. And therefore, when they look at fruit and say, oh, look, fruit has no protein. But no, it's that since all the proteins are in the form of amino acids in fruits and vegetables, they're destroyed easily by cooking. Unlike, let's say, meat, which the bonds are very strong. No, therefore, oh, meat has a lot of protein. We need a lot of meat. No. Uh, lentils, right? When you cook the lentils, um, they'll read they have a lot of protein when raw or cooked. Because those bonds are very strong. They're a complete protein, too. They have all the essential amino acids in lentils. Um, certain beans do, too. Rice doesn't. But we can get to end the show. So I'm going to end the video there. That's, uh, that's my pre-marathon. My pre-week before the marathon. A lot of green juices. Eating very healthy. No processed foods. Even if it's organic, it hurts my stomach. If it's not a whole food, I ain't eating it for the most part. Um, aside for some cliff bars, but, uh, you know, some things work, some things don't, but I noticed, uh, you know, even organic steroid, or granola steroid, it just makes my stomach like, uh, you know, it's just gross. And, but I'm going to end it here. Never stop running. Always inspiring. El Coyote Loco. Mm. Oh, yeah, that's good. Oh yeah. Freaking weirdos choose grass and drink it. Only weirdos do this stuff. But I'm a weirdo. We're all weirdos here. So we'll drink our wheat grass. <laughs>